Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I had a request to have a look at Fedora 30 Cinnamon, and since I still had the net installer and in some spare time and a available virtual machine, I decided to go ahead and have a quick look at it. And uh, this is just going to be a, a brief look through through the system. So I've installed it. Uh, now I've actually gone into here and just poked around a little bit um, just to kind of get in there. So um, Fedora, of course, has been coming a long way, a lot more usable, particularly if you're using the GNOME workstation where they're making it a lot easier to uh, add your um, uh, add your non-free repos, Fusion, things like that into the system. Uh, that is actually that is actually really good. But then when I experimented with running Fedora on bare metal um, way back uh, on, I think it was, well, way back on version 29, it was a few months ago, um, I ran that on Fedora Plasma and I found that it wasn't quite as nice and streamlined. And so I wanted to go ahead and give this a try on Cinnamon and just kind of have a look at it. Now, when you first boot it up, this is what you get. I did install a few other applications in here just so we can have a look. Um, I installed HTOP just so we can get in here and uh, from the start, from the get-go, we're using about 838 megabytes of RAM. So I have six gigs in here. And you can see it's not doing a whole lot, so uh, that's actually um, that's actually not too not too bad. All right. So uh, with that, what is uh, what do we find inside of here? Well, the only software installer we have is DNF Dragora, and I've actually found this not necessarily to be a super uh, a super good system. In fact, I remember it crashing a lot on Plasma. I I installed one application on this, I think, just to test it out. Uh, we do have the ability to, um, when it's done spinning on me, we'll have the ability to have a look at the repositories and things like that. Um, so what we might find is you'll see I have the um, the RPM Fusion free uh, and the Tainted and, and the updates installed on here. Those are available, but there's no way to toggle these on easily like there is in the workstation form. Uh, so you are still going to need to go in and install those via the terminal, which no big deal. Um, just grab the instructions on how to do that. So I installed those. I installed um, FFmpeg. And I can't remember. I think that the Fedora repos do not have VLC and or Kodi, um, but RPM Fusion does. And so I installed those just to, just to give it a, a quick test. Um, and so you'll see that I have both those applications installed on here. Uh, on here as well. Those were installed after I put on the Fusion. I did all those through the terminal. Um, I added Evolution through our uh, DNF Dragora. And then everything else on here is just uh, just kind of the basics. So those are the only applications I installed. So we, we have Cinnamon. We have just the basic utilities that are going to come with Cinnamon. Uh, we have our we have our disks. We have our simple scanner. Just some basic things. Firefox by default few other applications, and I did not install anything else with the system. So out of the box, this is kind of what we get. Our preferences, um, our setup, I really like the theming that they went with. They actually are using the Mint theming, which is kind of good. And uh, it's just kind of gives a, a nice unified feel. And they did give us this dark mode by default. So of course, if you come on over to the theme setting, you should be able to pick from a variety of different themes. And so you'll see that they actually have all of the themes that you would install, have installed under a Linux Mint system are actually here, uh, which most of the Cinnamon builds that I've seen on different, uh, on different systems do not actually have all these. So if you like those Mint themes, you, they, have, they are available to you. We do have some Fedora themes in there as well. Um, so you can see that we have the various Mint themes, and then we have a few extra ones that we don't generally have inside of the Mint themes as well. Uh, to some people, this may be too many options, but hey, at least we have some options, right? And then as far as our desktops, again, um, we have our basic Cinnamon. We even have our basic Linux Mint themes, which is, again, a little unusual for a Fedora build. Uh, but there we have them. And then, of course, it defaults to the Aqua for everything. We can still add and remove everything. And we are based on, of course, the latest version of Cinnamon, as we can see. Let's just go ahead and have a look at the system, though. Okay, so we are running uh, Fedora, Fedora 3030. Look at that, Fedora 3030. We are running Cinnamon version 4.0.10, Linux kernel 5.0.10. 
and then you can see everything else that we have in the system. We do have the sound effects turned on by default, which is, you can kind of hear, uh, maybe not hear them too much. Uh, but there we have uh, all of the systems set up. So as far as how the system works, um, the GUI installer is to be desired, but I've actually found anytime I was using Fedora, the terminal is just so much easier to use DNF than to use the GUI anyway. Um, again, this one, uh, the one that they do give you, they only give you the one versus on uh, Plasma, I think they actually give you two or three different installers, which was interesting. Um, but we only have that one. Again, you can install everything through the terminal. Uh, just like usual and we don't have a good GUI way to turn on those other settings those other uh, the RPM fusion uh, To get your multimedia codecs just install those to the terminal. No big deal on that um, But you do have to know how to do that. Just look it up really uh, Nothing else in really in there not a lot else is is going to be different. Um, there's not just there's not a ton of other uh, of other systems in here, uh, not a ton of other differences. It's just Fedora with bare minimal applications with the Cinnamon desktop environment. Uh, once you get the once you get those other uh, repos installed, if you want to do that, everything else is going to be uh, quick and easy. And uh, that is pretty much what we get. As far as our software though, anytime we're running Fedora, I gotta get a cat off of that phone. Right. Uh, as far as when you're running Fedora, you are just gonna get some of the latest, uh, the latest uh, of each application. So it is absolutely on that cutting edge. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what version we have of Firefox. Of course, add-ins would probably be disabled. There you go, 66. Uh, oh three, so that's what we have for that. In fact, last time I ran Cody, in fact, it was even running. I was even running a beta version of it. So let's boot up Cody and see what we have on that. Eighteen two, actually, I think my Arch system is newer. Mouse support on this is not very good, but I could blame that on a virtual machine. All right, so as far as uh, customizability, usability, we have everything the way that I would like to see it. This is a system that, frankly, if I were to be switching over to Linux, I would kind of like this. Of course, the downside, Fedora, always, um, they do provide some upgrade paths. Oftentimes, it messes with some things. Most people will choose to just reinstall the entire system every few months when a new release comes out. I think they're on like a nine-month release schedule, if I remember. Um, the times that I've used Fedora, um, I've actually grown to like it. It's a lot better than it was when I first was experimenting with Linux. There's really no super surprises here. Um, latest software, latest updates. I did actually find my online accounts. Uh, once again, like the other Fedora, my online accounts did not actually give me the ability to sync my documents with Nextcloud. Um, again, I don't know if this is an older version of the online accounts they're using, but um, you should actually have a fourth option to sync documents with this as well. Uh, but again, the documents uh, does not work on this. It works on Ubuntu, I found. It doesn't work on this one. Uh, I should actually see, um, again, those other options. But the other thing that tells me this is probably an older one is it is still using the own cloud logo. So there's something about the online account system that is being held back. If, is that a big deal? Mm, probably not. Everything else should work just, just fine. So let's have a look if the contacts is installed. Um, it's not. Uh, contacts and calendar does not appear to be installed. Um, but I did install Evolution, so those should actually all cross-sync perfectly fine. Sure, set it as default client. Why not? All right, we're going to cancel that. We don't need any of those. No, I don't need a Flickr account. If I come down to contacts, um, we should have we should have contacts here syncing up. Let's there you go. There's our contacts. All right, and then our calendar as well. Let's go back to the week and actually the month and go back a month. So these are all my test events inside of my Nextcloud calendar. So you can see that my contacts, my calendars are syncing through Evolution. That's why I use Evolution for that. So as far as uh, the platform, yeah, I'm, and I like it. It runs on very minimal RAM. It does seem to be run pretty snappy. And this is in software rendering mode on a virtual machine, 
We do have the latest uh, up-to-date software. Uh, I, I don't know what's up. Does anybody out there know um, what's up with the Fedora and the online accounts? Are they holding that version back? Is there a reason? I have not looked into the reason why. Uh, would I run this? Absolutely. Um, this would be a great, uh, a great distro to run. Um, you do have to, like I said, uh, be more, more familiar with the terminal to get this running. We don't have quite the support that the GNOME Software Center has for the third-party uh, repos and things like that. But as long as you're comfortable learning that, then uh, there's no issues, no problems. So that's just my very brief take on Fedora 30 Cinnamon. Uh, great distro, definitely check it out. I, again, I installed this through the Net Installer. Just download the Fedora Net Installer. I picked the Cinnamon desktop environment instead of the GNOME and uh, away we went installed perfectly fine so with that being said thanks for watching have a look at the links up above me or in the description down below uh, leave us some comments uh, your feedback do you like fedora 30 do you like cinnamon yes or no or is you know cinnamon just what you put on your toast <laughs> let me know hope you enjoy switching to linux